Hi there, Bergman Lights here. Hey, I've got a lot of questions on my uh, series on the uh, YPS uh, puck lights, permanent lights. Um, I have 150 of them laid out here. Every, but a lot of people want to know how many lights you can run off a controller without having new power injection. Now that question varies a lot depending on the uh, on the uh, intensity, uh, the brightness that you put on it. So I'm gonna do a test at 100% brightness, which will give you the most conservative numbers and see how many I can run before the lights start yellowing and what your voltage drop will be. So I've set it up here with, I got these this pigtail I made to go on the last uh, set of lights. And you plug this in and I hook up my voltmeter, I'll be able to measure the voltage drop. And I also have this particular pigtail, which I have installed right at the beginning, in which I can use my trusty uh, multimeter here with the clamp on it to measure the amperage. So I'll go through and I'll, I'll hook up the lights run at 100% white and I'll step through it and we'll look for when the lights start to yellow. Once they get to yellowing, I'll, I'll do the current measurement on it, but I'll give you the voltage drop for each and I'll go 20, uh, 60, 100, going all the way up to 150. So uh, let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm going to show you here is I have my uh, voltmeter connected directly up to my uh, my output and with no lights on it. And you'll see that the, the power supplies are putting out 11.9 volts. So as we step through this, we'll uh, get the voltage measurement and be able to see what the power drop is. So now I've hooked up uh, 20 lights. You'll see them lit up there at 100% brightness all white and the voltage there is 11.48 volts. Uh, I've now connected uh, 60 lights and they're all looking good, nice nice and light, nice and bright white. Um, voltage is 9.7 volts. All right, so I have 100 lights here. Um, the, the pucks are looking really good, all pure white, uh, nice and solid, good color on all, all of them at the hundredth uh, light there, and the voltage is now 8.36 volts. That's getting getting down there, getting pretty close to where we might need some power injection. Okay, now, now I have 120 uh, lights hooked up to the output of my controller. It's probably hard to see on the camera, but the lights are starting to dim a little bit. The very first ones are brighter than the very last ones. Uh, they're not quite yellowing yet. You can probably get away with this. Um, especially if you run the brightness down a little bit. So I have 7.95 volts here um, at the last last pixel. So, so that's probably about the longest run I'd recommend and run at 100% brightness. Uh, let me get set up and let's take a current measurement. All right, with 120 lights at 100% brightness, I'm pulling uh, three amps. Uh, so that's well within the capacity of the controller. We're just getting too much uh, voltage drop down the end. Since I had already uh, laid out 150 of the, the puck lights, I decided to go ahead and hook them all up and see what our voltage was after running 150 of them. And as you can see here, the 150th here, we got uh, seven and a half volts. And I believe you can see on the camera the yellowing of that light. So it just doesn't have enough enough power. Uh, I have 150 lights hooked up here, and here's the current measurement. Current measurement is 3.07 amps. It's bouncing on just a little bit. It isn't much of an increase from the 120 lights. All right, so I put uh, power into the backside of the lights. Right there, up up there is the 150th puck. Um, it's all doing perfectly. It's a really good, uh, nice, uh, pure white color. Uh, the voltage at the middle, roughly the middle, I have 80 from the controller and then 70 after that. And uh, the voltage there is, is 9 volts. All right, so um, now let's go take a current measurement. Let me disconnect my voltmeter here or my multimeter. I'm going to convert that to amps. And I got to turn that to DC. All right, so there we go. So let's move the camera over right here and I'm gonna clamp it on my lead and let's see what my current measurement is now. 2.7 amps. All right, so perfectly acceptable, 100% white, 150 lights with power injection. Um, you back off on the uh, current or the brightness just a little bit 
and you'll be able to go further. Um, All right, so one final uh, kind of demonstration here. I've uh, set my color pattern up in just the rainbow pattern here in my controller, run it at 100%. And all the colors look really good. Um, at 150 lights, uh, the voltage is dropping, hanging around about at the last pixel here, about oh 8.9 volts. Let's move you close there so you can see it. It fluctuates a bit as it color it goes a new color. It gets more of a what more of the lights on at the same time, draws a little bit more power. But you'll see here at 100%, we're pulling you know 8.9, 8.8 volts, bounce along just a little bit as it transitions from one color to the next. But if you look up at it up here, it looks really good. So if you wanted to go 150 lights at 100%, you could do that as long as you didn't go for 100% white, which I think most of us won't do. We'll have some sort of the color pattern going on with our lights. All right, so let's kind of summarize all the measurements we took here. All right, I, I took measurements at 20, uh, 60, 100, 120, 150 lights um, at 100% all white. Uh, and the voltage drop, I'll say per pixel, per one of these pucks, we're talking an average of 0 0.035 volts. Um, it could be a good number for you to use to uh, calculate how many lights you can put off of a power supply. And what I have going on here, um, if you, at 100% brightness, if you're doing different colors where it blends them together, so you're not pulling 100% on all the lights at 100% to get white, uh, you can get up to 150, although if you want to do it white and want to be conservative, I would stop at 120 lights. And then you can do power injection. When you do power injection, you can, uh, you can run that, double that really, get to 240. Um, again, the voltage drop on average is 0 0.035 when you're pulling all three RGB lights at full full capacity. So with that, that uh, pretty much summarizes our results here. Um, oh, and one other final thing, the current, really the worst case scenario I got was up to what, 3.1 amps uh, with 150 lights. So current really isn't an issue that you have to worry about as far as uh, running these lights. Uh, so, that kind of concludes my video here. Um, I hope this helps somebody out there. You guys have a wonderful day.